Welcome to video 43. So in this video, we're going to be creating a new product and we'll add that new product to our store. In this video, we're going to be copying and pasting a lot of code. And the reason is, is a lot of the work we're doing now, we already did in prior videos, like creating actions, reducers, effects. So not to bore you to death, I'll just copy and paste all of it. And you can find all the code that I'm copying and pasting at this link here. If you click on that, you can just copy and paste to follow along. So like we did before, we'll create all of our actions. We'll need a total of three, and then we'll create our effect, update the store with a new product. Also, we'll create our side effect for letting the user know if there's a failure at creating a product. Towards the end, we'll dispatch our action within our add product component. So let's start on the actions. Back inside the product state, open up the product action, effect, and the reducer. And we'll start inside the action. So we'll only be creating three actions for adding a individual product when we create it. And I'll add it right below these actions we set up in a prior video. And I'll also add in a comment as well. So we already have a boilerplate here for adding an individual product. This is almost exactly what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna replace this with my snippet though. And here's the comment for adding an individual product. And here's our three actions. So this one's going to get dispatched from the product add component and I call it add product and we pass in the product that the user wants to create. Then when we successfully create the product, then we're going to add it to the store. So we need to pass it in as a payload again when we successfully create the product. And of course, if there's any failures, we want to handle that as well. And that's what this action is for. That's all we need to do within our action. So you want to make sure it looks like this that you add this and you'll find this within the snippets moving on to our effects and what we'll be doing in here is very similar to what we did here this section here so i'll paste another snippet right below that and this is going to be for creating a individual product we're listening for the add product action we just set up we're passing in the payload of product then we call on our product service and we're already bringing that in right here. We pass in the payload product and we create our product. If we're successful, we return the add product success action, passing in the payload of product. And if there's any errors, we take care of that as well with our product failure. Now I'm getting an error right here. And the reason is, is we're not returning the correct type from this method. Let's go ahead and take care of that. If you hover on the mock product API, right click, and go to definition you're looking for the create product method and that's this one and i forgot to add this right here so we want to return the correct type we want to specify that and we're going to be returning a product from this and that's going to give me an error here so i'll take care of that as well that should take care of our error within the effect file if we go back here and that error is gone so we finished up our effect file. Again, you'll find the snippets within the snippets page if you wanna just copy and paste that. Now moving on to the reducer. And right below the load product failure that we set up a couple of videos ago, I'll add another snippet. And this is for if we fell at creating a new product. So we'll reuse the error we have within our state and we'll pass in the error that we get from this action. Now we wanna also handle if we successfully create a product and I'll add that within here. So what's nice about these on methods is you can add as many actions as you want. And if any of those actions are dispatched, then this will happen. So we're gonna reuse the add one. So I'm gonna add another action here, product actions, and then the add product success. That's the one you want. And don't forget the comma. And this is passing in a product and we'll use the add one method, pass in the product and that should update our store or add another product to our store. We assembled all of our pieces. Now we're ready to start dispatching an action. So we assembled all of our pieces. We have our actions. We got a new effect and we updated our store. Now we're ready to dispatch our action. We'll open up the add product component. We'll dispatch our action. Also, we'll need to create a few side effects for alerting the user. Let's say we're successful or there's a failure. We'll create a side effect for alerting the user in those situations. So let's open up our component and that's inside the product add and we'll open up the TS file. Also, while we're here, we'll open up our effects and that's gonna be inside of our global store. 
open up the effect and we'll set up the spinner so I'll open that up and also we'll give the user an alert message if there's a failure or success so we'll open up the alert effect as well let's start inside the product component and the first thing we'll do is we'll bring in the action that we'll need to dispatch I'll add that up here and I'll do it this way we're only going to be dispatching one action from within this file so I'll add it in this way and it's going to be the add product action and then also we'll need to bring in the store so we're not going to need the product service or the router I'm not going to reroute the user I'm going to keep the user on the same page so let's say they want to create multiple products they won't be rerouted back to the list page all the time that's kind of annoying so I'm not going to reroute the user in this case so we need to add in the store and we'll just replace these and then we'll make sure we bring in the store from ngrx and the app state from our index file now within the on submit method this is what gets called when the user submits the form we could replace all this and all we need to do now is just dispatch our action so we'll call on our store we'll use the dispatch method call the add product action we set up and pass in the form information that's all we need to do within our ts file save this and one more thing don't forget to remove these imports clean up the code a little bit so we can get rid of those now we can save the file let's jump over to the alerts so we want to let the user know if they successful at creating a product or if they failed at creating a product so towards the end here i add a couple more effects so the first one is if the user is successful at creating a product we listen for the add product success action and if that gets dispatched then we give the user a success message and we let them know that they created a product if there's any failures at creating a product and the add product failure action is dispatched then we'll let the user know that they were unable to create a product next we'll set up our spinner so let's open that up the first thing we'll do is we'll turn the spinner on when we're creating a product so towards the end of the of type here and we're already bringing in our actions and that's the from product actions so towards the end here from our product actions and when we're adding a new product then we'll turn the spinner on now we want to make sure we turn the spinner off then when we're successful or if there's a failure so within the spinner off towards the end down here we'll call on the same from product actions then we'll turn the spinner off and then also if there's a failure so both of these should turn the spinner off so now we're ready for testing so make sure you save everything we'll restart the application so i'll shut it down and let's check it out in the browser so now we're ready for testing i went ahead and filled in a bunch of information and let's try to create a brand new product so make sure you open up the debugger and we should see a product being added to our store and let's create a new product add product so as you can see the product add component was dispatched and then we successfully created a new product if we click on the second action and then we look at the action payload as you can see we added a new product or we passed in a product as a payload to this action then if we look at our current state we should have that product within our store so if we scroll down and there it is with the id 201 and we have our awesome product in there and then if we want to go ahead and create another one i'll just add on two two and then add a different quantity change up the numbers and then we'll click add product as you can see the spinner turns on and we're getting a message off to the right side here and if we click on the last action look at our current state we should have another one added that's 202 so it just keeps on adding the product within our store so that's how we can create a new product and add it to our store now let's set up a way to edit products and we'll start on that in the next video